Hello everyone, my name is Penny, and today I would like to talk to you about penguin-initiated detection avoidance in penguin crab. In situ evidence from camera, animal from camera longer. And the picture on the right here is Pygoxilis papia. It is the penguin that I will talk about in this talk today. And I will just call it penguin in my family talking. And Today, many will talk about relationship between predator and prey. And as you can see in this picture, lion is a predator and zebra is a prey. And we face many difficulties while studying about relationship between predator and prey in the ocean. First, we can sample both predator and prey because it is logistically and financially difficult. And second, we can observe in interaction between predator and prey directly because we all know it's underwater. <coughs> and the common way to study about relationship between predator and prey is to find out the prey availability within the predator's home range. But through this approach that will only get limited information because we ignore the behavioral adaption of the predator and the prey. And that is where animal form camera logger can be. And the word form means to carry. And logger is a device that records. And in my talk today, I hope to convince you that behavior of prey affect predators' behavior. And where, as in, where does this research take place? And we choose the penguin in Falkland Islands in, as our subject, and it is next to Argentina. And this are the pictures that the, is a use of penguins. And please take a look at this picture. The star here is a colony that we study. And it, ignore the yellow line but focus on the blue line. It is the path of the penguin they took to find food. And this is the other colony that we study. And in, in this both of these pictures, we know we can find out that the penguin depart and return from the ocean using a single location. And the colonies between, the distance between the colonies and the shoreline is over 500 meters so that we can catch the penguin and without causing any disturbance at the colony. And who, who do we target? And we want to catch the penguins that have to take care of their kids so that we can make sure that they will come back from the ocean because you know they, they will carry uh, expensive devices. And the site we are looking for is a blue patch and dirty feathers. Dirty feathers is a sign of them <coughs> sitting on the nest. <coughs> and blue patch right here is a that has no feather on it, so that the penguin can transfer their heat to their eggs. And how? How do we conduct this research? We capture the penguin and we mark them with temporary waterproof green wax, and we place devices on them. And one of the devices is time death recorder. It records the swimming speed, the water temperature, and the water depth. And another is GPS logger, uh, so that we can know where the penguin went. And the other is custom-made waterproof camera, it's right here. So that we can record the behavior between the penguin and its prey. The penguin usually 
depart their colony from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the morning. And we watch the sea exit point till 11 o'clock at night daily. And when we recapture the penguin, we remove the devices on them and we weigh them and we measure the bell length and bell depth. And you can see this is the bell length and this is a bell depth. And what, what do we want to know? We want to observe the behavior between the penguin and the square. And this is lobster quail. And it is the main food that penguin eats. And this is lobster quail swarm. The word swarm means group. And to study about animals' behavior, we need to have clear definition like what movement means what. And here, we define loose swarm of lobster curl as there is obvious space between cray, and so that we can see through the, the lobster curl swarm during the entire period of the penguin's approach. And the tight swarm is the opposite of it. And as you can see in this picture, this is a tight swarm, and this is a loose swarm. And you can see there is no obvious space to see through the lobster curl. And the other thing we need to define is APC. It's attentive prey capture. And it's defined as the penguin actively rising its head and rising and striking its head towards the prey until its head returns to a neutral position. And neutral means normal. And the, through the data and video that we collected, and we had this project through a custom code and lead us to the result. And please, please to get a look at this chart. And this is where the penguin were at. The, in the surface, and these two, lobster curl and small fish is the two main food that the penguin eat. And the number here is a authentic prey capture and its percentage. And we can know through this data that penguin hardly feed on their prey at the surface of the ocean. And please take a look at this chart. And the penguin is um, at the C4 with its head down or with its head up. And this is the number of the attentive prey captures percentage. And we can know that the head ups percentage is higher than head downs. And the bottom chart here, descending means to go down and ascending means to go up. So that, and this number is the <coughs> attentive prey captures percentage. So the penguins Ascending percentage is, is higher than descending. And so that will know the penguin often be on the prey while their heads are up or when they are ascending. And the reason is because lobster curl can defend itself. This is a picture of the penguin swimming toward the lobster curl here. And the lobster curl open its pincers. This is a pincer. And the open pincers mean that the lobster curl is in a defensive position. And this is a picture of the lobster curl attack the penguin. And the penguin feet on the prey where their heads up are up. It means that the penguin attack the prey from below. So just imagine you want to attack somebody and you, you would like to be very quick and you would like to minimize the time for them to turn to defensive position and just like this. And it is the same idea for penguin and not so curl.
and and through the video that we collected, we found out that the penguin feed on the outer or outer edge of the loose worm, but they don't feed on the tight swarm. The advantage of the lobster crawl to aggregate tightly is that they can create visual barrier that will confuse the predator so that the predator can single one out of the, the whole group of the prey. And from the, from the, the discussion above, then we know that there are two anti-predator tactics. One is active defense and one is group formation. And these two tactics definitely change the behavior of predators so that they can react correspondingly. So we know behavior of prey does affect predators' behavior. And here is some resources that I used. And this is the end of my talk. Thank you for your attention.